So in this part of our discussion, I'm joined by Zhou Rui, chairman of the Bridge uh, Tank. Uh, so, uh, Zhou, the first question, you know, when you heard of the news of the president catching the virus, what's your response? Well, first of all, uh, it's always good to be on TV, and thank you for this time playing a very nice uh, French music. Uh, I'll get back to your question on uh, President Macron, but I just overheard your previous speaker saying that Europe is in a crisis. I think it's related to uh, Mr. Macron. Uh, I'm surprised to hear that Europe is in a crisis. We're always in a crisis if we listen to foreign commentators. Well. Even with the Brexit, the EU27 is the largest, largest GDP in the world, not just by purchasing for a parity. It is the single largest GDP in the world. We've had, and it's a historic uh, move, uh, we've voted a, a seven-year joint budget stimulus package. We have seven-year visibility, and our stimulus package is the greenest in the world. So I don't see there's a crisis. Sorry for for for. for answering on that first, but that links me to your question on President Macron. Uh, well, the President of France has COVID, like uh, millions of people have had it uh, over the world. Uh, that hasn't changed uh, the functioning of uh, the French system, that has not uh, altered uh, issues of coordination between France and the EU. Uh, EU uh, German presidency, especially in terms of negotiation, uh, which are very crucial these days at a crucial uh, phase. The EU and France takes an active part in that, are negotiating a possible agreement on investment uh, with China. I would say that President Macron is like any uh, patient of COVID of his age. Well, he's retired. Uh, but is not under risk. So COVID is really not a personal issue. It's a collective issue. It's a pandemic issue. The president has always known that. Well, he mm -hmm. still knows that. It's just just mm -hmm. like fever. Well said. It's uh, it's not a personal issue. It's a collective issue. Uh, you know, uh, President Macron said that you know uh, his infection shows uh, that the virus really can touch everyone uh, because you know he's yes. uh, well protected and uh, has been very careful. Still, uh, you somehow got uh, infected. So, will his message uh, sound alarm uh, for the public, the French public, in a time of uh, festivity, you know, Christmas and the New Year? Well, I'm not sure it's about alarm, but you know, pedagogy is about repeating, 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 and again, repeating. Uh, we've known since the beginning, I think that, you know, in any crisis, there's an opportunity. Opportunity, it's a Chinese saying, after all, uh, you know that better than I know. But in this, co the COVID is a pandemic, it's a terrible pandemic, but this had already for many months recalled uh, the developed economies, the emerging economies, the advanced economies, that a pandemic is not just something that might happen in uh, developing countries in Asia or in Africa, that this can happen to everyone. We've already seen that different people in the, uh, the uh, well-off parts of the society can catch it as well. We know, we know there is an inequality. We know in the U.S., you know, partly in Europe, uh, that the, the poorest are more exposed to that, but we knew already that uh, everyone can, can catch it. So I think it's about really understanding what are the barrier gestures. The barrier gestures can't have a single minute of hesitation of forgiveness uh, mm -hmm. with yourself. Well, Joe, uh, I'll, I'll give. You. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm I'm wondering, like, uh, you know, the uh, priority, obviously, uh, for almost every country now is the control of the pandemic. And uh, European Union is to start this vaccination process. Uh, uh, my understanding is like a Monday, uh, 21st. So uh, hopefully, you know, uh, the French public will also uh, be ready to receive uh, the shot. Uh, but there is a Ipsos survey shows it, showing that uh, only 54% of the French adults uh, ready or willing uh, to get the shot when the vaccine arrives. Uh, is that a concern? Well, I would say this poll is even maybe optimistic. The reality might be less. There's a clear map at the global level where the developed economies have less trust on that and the developing economies have more trust on the vaccine. I think the reason is very simple. As I said, those kind of epidemics, those kind of, uh, of disease were usually more found in developing economies. So there's a kind of cultural, civilizational uh, 
accustom, uh, you know, accustomation uh, used uh, to, to that. So for the so-called West, for the so-called developed countries, it's pretty new. So I think it's more a matter of time. I think those mm -hmm. falls will change very fast. Sorry, so our time is will... running out, Joy. Uh, with that, we are coming to the end of today's show. Many thanks to our guests. You can also watch us on the CGTN app or on YouTube. I'm Xu Qingduo. You can find me on Twitter, Xu Qingduo. Thanks for watching. See you next week.